Hello and welcome to this episode of Between the Studs. I'm your host, Mark. Today I'm joined by Garrett. What's up, guys? And Harrison. Hello. Now, Harrison, this is your first time on Between the Studs, yes, isn't that right? Is. Yeah. Glad to have you. Very sporty jacket. Oh, yeah. Hope you don't get too warm. I know the lights. It's fine. I got the sleeves. It's getting <laughs> up, masculine. It's getting strong. You know. Exactly. What a dude. All right. Oh, Showing boy. us up here. All right. Well, um, today we have a specific reason why both Garrett and Harrison are here. It's because we're talking about the kind of niche and unusual theme of Lego. Or if is... you can just say true gamers. It's okay. <laughs> you can say gamers. It's, it's uh, the gamers theme of Overwatch. And uh, this was a theme that came out in 2019 in... Uh, response to the original Overwatch game, mm -hmm. which came out, what was it, 2016 or so? Yeah, I mean, roughly it then. Was, like, when I was, like, 15, I was heavy in yeah. Overwatch. Uh, I, I don't know that much about it. That's why I have mm -hmm. two experts of gaming here with me today. They can help uh, fill in some of the gaps of my knowledge. We can have a well-rounded discussion. I'll be a neutral party there we go. for that reason. I really don't know that much about it other than hearsay. But, um, so, you know Lego. That's why you're here. I know Lego. I, I know uh, I, I know a couple of the like characters' names. like a Lego names. master yeah, or something? Yeah. I know a few of the characters' names, so, so that's good. Or at least some of what their names used to mm -hmm. be. We'll get into that. Yes. But, Garrett, let's start with you. Um, what was your experience with Overwatch? Mm -hmm. You played it. Um, you enjoyed it. Yep. Well, tell us about that. So, um, you know, I love video games. I've played video games my whole life. And um, one of, like, the genres of games I love is, like, class-based shooters. Yeah. Um, in that, you know, I'll reference Team Fortress 2 is one of my favorites of all time. It's been alive for... I mean, yeah. over. I think, Never gonna I think longer than I've been alive. Are people still playing that game? <laughs> yes. That's awesome. It's insane. A couple um, years ago, it hit like a max for yeah. players. Um, <laughs> and so crazy. I love team based shooters. And then Blizzard, you know, I played WoW so much. Mm -hmm. I was big into Warcraft. When I, I know about out. that, yeah. And so um, when Blizzard decided to make a team based shooter, I was like, whoa, let's give this a good shot. Mm -hmm. And so I started getting into Overwatch, and it was super fun. I mean, I love. Um, the character designs, I love the character personalities. They would do like cinematic trailers introducing the characters and like their like lore and stuff. Mm -hmm. Really cool, really in depth. Um, Overwatch 1 was a really fun game and I, I sunk a lot of hours into it. <laughs> so you would consider yourself a, a well rounded player in the early days yes, of Overwatch? Yes, in the early days of Overwatch, I was um, I, I was in the heat of it. I was in ranked, I was sweaty. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It happened. You so. enjoyed the game immensely. <laughs> yes, yes. I, uh, I bought plenty of loot boxes. We'll get into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, uh, mm, yeah, yeah. Harrison, now you are also a gamer. You're more of the Warcraft variety, aren't you? <laughs> I, Warcraft, right? No, no. Hey, anyway. I say that as someone who plays. Uh, War Warhammer I or three, you know? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good. Warhammer is where it's at. That's yeah, just me. Exactly. Um, with Overwatch, I grew up uh, with the controversy. Er, How old were you when Overwatch came out? Let's start well, with that. You're pretty young. I was eight. You're about eight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you were a little younger I than the target demographic, maybe. I didn't really play Overwatch because mm -hmm. I always I was growing up in the. Um, age where everybody was comparing Overwatch to other games such as Team yes. Fortress 2 mm -hmm. and it was always like people saying that Overwatch wasn't that good that's always what I heard mm -hmm. and then they were whenever, dunking on it yeah. yeah and then whenever as a kid I heard someone say Overwatch is good it sounded like they were begging you to play the game <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah that's, that's my it was definitely one was. of those games that like when it came out you either really liked it or you despised it oh yeah like there was no in between mm -hmm. with it like you either were a Overwatch player or you weren't going to touch it with a 10 foot pole yeah, yeah. So. if you you ever if you've ever heard of the channel JT Music they make rap battles between like fictional people <laughs> I grew up with the Team Fortress 2 versus Overwatch rap battles yes okay they're cringy and hard to listen to nowadays but I grew up with those I've listened to those on repeat yeah <laughs> So you were on the opposite side of the fence yeah. from Garrett. You weren't giving it a fair shot. You were just hating on this from the mm -hmm. start. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. That gives us a fair, uh, balanced perspective mm -hmm. here. I like it. Um, so the uh, the game definitely made an impact in the gaming mm -hmm. world. Lots of people played huge. it or hated it. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, Lego a couple years later came out with a bunch of sets. Mm -hmm. Now, before we get into the sets themselves, I want to ask you guys a couple questions on those. First of all, you, 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 obviously, Garrett, you know yes. most of these characters, but Harrison, you know uh, most of them as well, yeah. too. What's your favorite character from the game design, and what's your favorite character from the minifigure design? Because there's obviously some translate better than others. So, uh, Harrison, what's your favorite character from the game, mm -hmm. if you can, if you have one? No, I actually do like the character design mm -hmm. to Overwatch. Okay. I just never really got into the game. 
Yeah. Though I do have to say Reinhardt, which is this big man here, really cool. mm-hmm. is probably my favorite. And the minifig version mm-hmm. too. And the minifig is awesome as well. Great helmet, great build for his suit, and then just overall beautiful. Even you mentioned earlier the cinematic trailers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The trailer that introduced Reinhardt went really so cool. incredibly hard. Really cool. I yep. love that one. And uh, I mean if you watch our D and D at all, you'll notice he, I'm pretty much him. He this took the worst like, out. He's kind of the. That's why you like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the big hammer guy, right? Yeah, yeah I love it. That's yeah. If, if so, Harrison, I, this is actually bringing a little bit of flashbacks to our D and D campaign we do right. on my channel. I'll have a little clickable link up there. But uh, both Garrus, uh, Garrett and Harrison are involved in that. I'm involved in that, and Malister is too. So all people associated with Lane and Brickos, well, I feel like I can plug it. Anyway, right. um, <laughs> but uh, so Garrett, you, you're also a fan of these characters. Which one was 100%. your main one that you played? So um, as far as like straight, like the game goes, not talking about Lego, mm-hmm. they didn't do a minifig, unfortunately. Oh no! But my favorite character is Bastion. Yeah, Bastion is so cool. So, like, in the story of Overwatch, there's a bunch of these robots. Um, God, what is it called? Like a sentry. Um, I'm trying to remember what the company was called. Um, but anyway, so these robots were made and, like, Amazon. they were, like, um, helper bots and, like, you know, do construction and all sorts of stuff. And, like, tons of them, like, got corrupted and, like, were evil. So, like, there's a lot of these, like, same designed robots that are, like, bad guys. Mm-hmm. But Bastion was one that, like, lived out in the woods and... He has a little bird friend who hangs out with him. Yep, I see that. And so Bastion was really cool in the games. That was my main. I loved Bastion so much. So um, favorite character, essentially, in the game? Definitely my favorite character. Okay. Just because, like, he didn't talk. He just was, like, a little robot. In his cinematic trailer, he's just a robot mm-hmm. that was left out in the woods and, like, starts hanging out with the animals. It's and almost like, like Iron Giant yes, or Groot. Yes. Yeah. I want to say there was a skin in the game that, like, made him, like, covered in moss and, like, his paint was all chipped up. It That's was cool. really cool. Um, but as far as minifigs go... My other favorite character was D.Va. Mm-hmm. I loved D.Va, mainly because I love mechs, and, I mean, I love anime, too. And she's, like, an anime mech girl. Yeah. So she has this big pink mech, and she was part of, like, the Korean military as, like, a gamer, which was really cool. So that's her lore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you could either use her mech, or you could, like, eject out of it and run around as just her. It, it was really fun. But as far as the minifigs go, she has one of my favorite, like, minifig heads ever. She has, like, a little, like, blowing a bubble with bubble gum, and yep. it is so cool. So, yeah. she's probably my favorite minifig design they did. So, it, it really didn't occur to me until just mentioning your char- mm-hmm. characters here, Garrett, but they, they all have a really big lore to them, don't yeah. they? Yeah, very unique That backgrounds. was a big thing with Overwatch, was, like, th- there was a lot of, like, story with all these characters mm-hmm. and why they're in this game. Why are we, you know, what's going on with all this? Yeah. And so they tried to, you know, weave a story with it, and they released these cinematic trailers that were, like, 10 to, like, 15 mm-hmm. minutes long each, and they were really cool. They want to get you personally attached to these exactly. characters. Yeah, that's basically. what it was. Yeah. And it worked. It, it did work. <laughs> it worked. As someone who didn't play the game, I would watch the cinematics yes. just because they were cool. They're, like, mm-hmm. little mini-movies. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, like, a mini-series yeah. of characters that you would you kind of know the characteristics yeah. mm-hmm. of, too. Wow. So, um, Harrison, being on the outside of this, this Overwatch frenzy... What were some of the characters you knew were the most popular or thought might have been the, the ones that everyone was playing? Um, I know their, like, poster person was... Tracer? Uh, what I'd say is Tracer there. Mm-hmm. She's, like, a British Air Force chick who can, like, teleport because mm-hmm. she's, like, barely even connected to reality. Yeah, that's so, what her, like, really chest... warping stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's what her chest, like, portal thing was. To keep I'd her say stable. she's probably one of the more popular. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Who else? I mean... Widowmaker. Yeah, Everybody Widowmaker, Widowmaker. Soldier 76, I'm pretty sure yeah. it is. Um, I see a lot of uh, cinematics with of the Mercy, the Mercy yeah, character. The There's tons of Mercy cosplay still to this yeah. day. Yeah. You'll go to like Comic-Con or Dragon Con, there's still people dressed up as Mercy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. That's, that's why I'd say it's probably the most popular. Mm-hmm. Exactly. From an outside view. So, a lot of great characters. Um, not... All of them achieved in Lego. Yes. Um, before we get to, let's, let's let's talk about some of the sets, and then we'll talk about what's missing mm-hmm. and what was not achieved by the ten or so sets, yep. uh, depending on your uh, perspective. Because there's there's some exclusive sets, and there was mm-hmm. one that was never released. Technically, when you look it up, it does not exist. Yeah, it's not on Bricklink. Yes, but it is on places it's like on eBay. Like and, sets, yeah, but like they count it as like a non-finalized product. Exactly. Even though I think that most of them were sold through Lego Lands. Actually. Yes. Um, what was it? I talked to somebody it's a couple Titan months ago, <laughs> and they had found one at a Lego Discovery Center. 
Yeah, let's talk about that set while we're here. Yep. Overwatch, Lego, Titan. It's Titan, right? Yes. Let's see here. Uh, images not coming up right away. I've never, I've never heard of this. So this is here's an example mm -hmm. of it. Oh. Set seven six nine eight zero. Oh. Mm -hmm. And we actually had one in the store not too long yes. ago. So it's unfortunate it sold very quickly, but somebody came in and bought that, and they bought every other Overwatch set we had. We had a full collection of everything, mm -hmm. and they bought every Overwatch set. We still have a couple left, yes. so that's good. But um, this one was for Overwatch two. There's a two right yep. there. And uh, because of the controversy, mm -hmm. uh, we may as well get into that, too. We'll talk about that before we get into the rest of sure. it. Sure. We'll talk about the why this didn't happen, and then we'll talk about the sets that did. So, um, uh, let's start with you, Gary. What, what was the Blizzard controversy? Can you describe that in yes. simple so, and uh, paraphrase? I never possible. played Overwatch 2. I don't know the full story, but this is like another one of like those like robot like mechanic things mm -hmm. that was like corrupted was the, grand, the big titan. Yeah. Um, and so this was going to be the debut of the Overwatch 2 sets, because these sets actually did pretty well with like people who liked the game. Yeah, yeah, people bought them. I didn't get these sets when they came out, because I wasn't really super into LEGO at the moment. Mm -hmm. I was uh, still doing plumbing and all that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but blue collar back yeah, then. Yeah. <laughs> so, but these sets did well, and so they decided to go with Overwatch 2. And then um, there was a lot of controversy that happened, like w within the company itself, a blizzard mm -hmm. and lawsuits. Some, yeah, some lawsuits happened, some layoffs happened. The CEO stepped down, mm -hmm. and because of all of those things, Lego said, "No, we're, we're not dealing with this." Pull the plug. We're, we got a uh uh. Yeah. Um, now Lego in in has been. Not they try very, to stay out of controversy. Yeah, they, 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 they stay out of controversy as much as possible, and I think it's for the best mm. in most cases. Um, Harrison, do you think that this was a good idea overall for them to play, or do you think that they missed out on a lot of cool stuff for Overwatch 2 in general? I, yeah. I don't really know the controversy. Yeah. All I've ever heard about Overwatch 2 is everybody saying it's horrible mm -hmm. and it's not nearly as good as the first one yeah. in every way. Mm -hmm. So... I think they actually might have saved money because yeah. these Overwatch 2 sets, I don't think they would have sold because yeah. nobody liked the game. Yeah, they, it got a lot of basically bad publicity, I think. Yeah. So uh, maybe they dodged a bullet. A yeah. lot of Overwatch players from the original game did not move to the second game. Yeah. And I'm, especially I'm sure play, but. especially after all that stuff happened, a lot of people distant themselves Weren't from the game. Weren't they going to shut down the servers for the first They're, game? The, you can't play the first game anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dang. That's, they force you to play the second game. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Unfortunate when that happens. But, um, uh, oh, mic is off. Yeah. Well, we'll just keep going. I'll, I'll, I'll edit okay. it. It's fine. Um, I might actually plug it in now. Plug it in now. Thank you for noticing I, that. I just was looking at it, and I was like, wait a second. That light's not We'll have fun. audio, but it's going to be a little tinny. Oh, does that sound better? Yeah, that's going to sound better. <laughs> yeah. I've saved your ears. Thank me later. We're only, yeah, we're a little bit in. It's okay. <laughs> Um, so this first overarch set, let's see if I can find a set number for it here. Oh, uh, it was, what, 76980? 80. Oh. And so um, you can find it. It's like 800 bucks At least. So it's definitely the most expensive of them. I think that most of the mm -hmm. overarch sets have gone up like you would expect, yes. but not too bad. The biggest thing with this set was is that it comes with a character, May, who was one of the original mm -hmm. cast from the first game. Mm -hmm. And they never made her in any of these sets. Yeah. So she is like a two hundred to three hundred dollar minifig just by herself. Exactly, set exclusive. Yes, we've had her in by herself. We now have the set sealed. Um, it's one you don't see too often, but let's say you wanted to be an Overwatch completionist and have like the main cast. Mm -hmm. You kind of have to have May. She's one of them. And yeah. so the fact they locked her to this set is a very interesting thing. That's crazy. Well, Lego does that. They'll put a cool figure right. in a big set, so you have to buy the big set. And they probably had more plans to include her in a cheaper what set or something. they put her in a micro fighter in a month? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're coming back to Overwatch Harrison. <laughs> yeah, I don't, that, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. But um, So that was the one set that is hard, really it hard does, to find. You can't find it. It doesn't exist. Can't look it up, really. Yeah, don't rest, look on Bricklink for it. It's, it's, yeah, it is not going to be on Bricklink because uh, Bricklink is mm -hmm. owned by Lego now. But let's let's look at some of the Overwatch sets we have yeah. that are more accessible here. What's, what do we want to talk about first here? Um, you, you talked about Bastion. Tell us about the Bastion <laughs> Man, set. Man, this set is awesome. Also, real quick while we're talking about the Overwatch sets, I love the double-sided box art. Mm -hmm. It is really, really cool. I love how there's like... Each of them have, like, here is, you know, the set. And then here's, like, an action pose of your characters. Mm -hmm. and Alternate it, view, I, yeah. And, like, what's cool about this one, this is the cinematic trailer mm -hmm. for these two characters. Yeah. So that's what's really cool. Love the boxes of these. Love the art. It's really cool. Um, but let's start with Bastion, because mm -hmm. this set is awesome. You know me. I love mechs. I love Bionicle. Um, this is... 
just a big mech of one of my favorite mechs from a video game. And he game. turns into a minigun. And, yes. So he does have... That's one of Bastion's, like, big thing in the game, is he had an ultimate move where, like, mm -hmm. you could turn him into a tank, or he had a secondary move where he transforms in just a, to a stationary sentry gun. Yep. So he's and you could just, like, post up in a window. It was so cool. But this set does that. You can turn him into the sentry gun. Yeah. It has a light brick in his head for his eyes. It even, oh, that's cool. I didn't know he had a yeah. light brick. That's and it even awesome. comes with that little bird he met in his announcement trailer. His little sidekick. Exactly. Yeah. That's so cool. So this is an awesome set, especially of like such a cool character. I think they capture the like look and the vibe of this character perfect in this set. It, it's really cool. Now, is this like a kind of a different scale than the rest of the characters 100%. here? It's kind of a bigger version. They, they didn't really do any... Um, because, like, this is the only thing they did for him. And it's a large scale. Like, this is more closer to, like, Bionicle Titan size. Or, like, Baby Groot kind of, yeah. Yeah. Um, I would this is probably closer to, like, a Grogu. Yeah. Um, but, like, in the games, he's more, like, he's a little smaller than, like, these two. You gotcha. So, yeah, he'd be more, like, in the halfway point. It's bigger than a big fig. Yes, he'd but... be bigger than a big fig. And I think that's why they, like, there is a smaller um, Bastion set. Mm -hmm. It was a Comic-Con thing. It's, like, yes. 200 pieces, I think. Exactly. That one's... Still a little big, I think, but that's a little better. So that's almost minifig scale with this Yeah, one. yeah. Gotcha. The orange version, the um, Omnic. Yes, yeah. that was the company, the Omnic. Omnic, Omnic Bastion, Orp. yeah. So yep. this, is, this is before he went to the woods. Yes. Yeah. So. Yep, and that's what they, yeah, all this paint came off. I'm that. putting this together. There all right, go. there we go. You're going to have to go home and watch these trailers, because they're still really cool. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back on YouTube and look up the old <laughs> yeah. Overwatch cinematics. Yeah, I would say if you, like are going to get an Overwatch set, I, I would recommend hunting this one down. Exactly. Because not only is it a good set by itself, but if you like Overwatch, everybody liked Bastion. Un sure. Unless you didn't, and then you yelled in the voice chat at me. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> a little bit of toxicity <laughs> could be there. Um, so, uh, Harrison, uh, tell us about this big one over here. What is this set's name? You know anything one, about this? This one is called Watchpoint Gibraltar. Yep. Exactly. You got Gibraltar is how you say that. Mm -hmm. Um... Once again, I did not play the games, but I do know this map that mm -hmm. this Interesting. set is based on a map that you would play on. Mm -hmm. And did the launch? Did the rocket actually launch at the end won? of the match? Yes, yeah. that was the end if of the, the game. If the defenders won or something. Yeah, it was essentially like um, protect the payload, and you mm -hmm. had to carry a payload through the entire map. And once it got to the rocket, it would get loaded on and launch off. If the defenders won. Yes. Yeah. So. Interesting. It's very cool. It actually, comes with mercy. This is Winston, and there's the other one. He's Reaper in the and, uh, and Pharaoh. Reaper, yeah, Reaper and Pharaoh, which are in other the characters. Rocket. We don't have a, a Pharaoh, but we do have a Reaper figure. Yeah, here. Pharaoh's yeah. really cool because Reaper's, he's got like a unique um, helmet and you know torso or like shoulder yeah, pad. Flip this around. It's the blue one. Yep, she's awesome with the jetpack. Uh, Reaper's kind of, I mean, Grim Reaper. He's got like a white. Kind of That's skull, cool and he's head, like yeah. all black yeah. with some handguns. Like looks like a Sith. See, I don't like that because they didn't represent that right. They're mm -hmm. they're sold off double barrel shotguns, oh, oh, really? which is even cooler. Oh, That's insane. <laughs> So, uh, so reading about the uh, Overwatch design philosophy for Lego, they they introduced this new p blaster uh -huh. pistol mold, and that's what they were trying to use for as many figures as possible. So those sawed-off shotguns, which yes. is probably a look Lego doesn't want to have. Probably <laughs> not. I, I would. They went for a blaster uh -huh. instead. Yeah. So, uh, but that's a cool one, and uh, that's the one Overwatch set that I would say might not have sold as well as the others because yes. it's a little bit bigger. I saw them mm -hmm. on sale a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know about if you guys. That's one thing I remember um, starting to work. I don't know if I was working here at the time. I would think mm -hmm. I was just starting working here, and they were on sale. Um, so that, that's one I we get this one in probably the most. I would say out of all the Overwatch sets, mm -hmm. it's still really cool. But I think this is like this is more a playset. Like yeah. you can display it, but I don't think it looks complete. Yeah, some of the smaller sets I think make for better display sets, even though they're definitely more meant to be play sets. Mm -hmm. This one I just feel like it's I don't know. It's, I feel like it's kind of awkward. The reason I would get this set, I'd probably get it just for these roller coaster pieces and the figs. Yeah, the figs are pretty cool. Yeah, there's some yeah. cool parts in here, but I mean, Winston's got to be one of the most unique big figs they've ever made. Can we talk about Winston for a we, second? We, I think we have about to. Um, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> It's Pretty Harambe in space. <laughs> uh, Winston is a really cool character. Too. He's got like a lightning gun. Interesting. So they did a really good job. Like a with pulse kind of. Yeah. It just shoots like a steady stream of like a lightning. It's nice. really cool. And he's got a jetpack and all that. But I, we'll never get another big fig like this. This is. They completely changed the body shape. They completely mm -hmm. changed big the, arms. The arms. He's every, got like a belly. Everything is a new mold on this guy, mm -hmm. and it's really really cool. And he's exclusive to the set. Yeah. So he's. 
I don't, I'm actually not sure on the pricing of Overwatch figs. Um, he's I, fairly I would expensive. say he's probably one of the most expensive ones. One of the most sought-after ones, I would say. Yeah. He's kind of an iconic character, yeah, too. Even if you didn't play like Winston in Overwatch, everybody likes Winston because, I mean, monkey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, monkey. He's a little more affordable than some, but he's still in the $20, $20 yeah. $30 range. So. I mean, that's an expensive big fig. I mean, mm-hmm. hey, that's more than a Hulk. Yep. <laughs> and one other, I think this is going to be set exclusive as well, is Mercy. Yes, here. Mercy's really cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, anytime you put wings on a minifig, like... It's always cool. And an angel halo around the head. I love her cool. hairpiece. Her hairpiece is really, really cool with the halo and all that. The ponytail is a good one. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize she had an angry um, double face. Yeah, That's double sided face is interesting. So. Now, the one weakness for this figure for me, and uh, let me know if you guys yes. agree, is that it's it's a, a pale face printed uh-huh. on a black minifigure head to Very have that so. kind of. Um, it's almost not like a turtleneck, but like, you know, um, like a. a, a it's, like, it's like Gambit's um, yeah. head gear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, it, it's. That's. As close as they can get to the actual character. Yes. But at the same time, it just doesn't... The printing doesn't quite work as well as it could. Um, She looks like a ghost. Yeah. It looks a little mm-hmm. bit washed out. She looks like a ghost, Her like, face trapped like... inside of, like, a mannequin mm-hmm. or something. Uh, I do like the fig. I think it looks good for what they did. Mm-hmm. But Lego's had this problem for years. Yeah, Captain America, same for problem. For years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, a bunch of cool figures. And like we said, we don't have the, the Farah figure. She's but... really cool. Uh, we've had her in the past, and we'll probably yeah. see her again, so... Um, moving on, we also have this. Let's have uh, Harrison talk about this what one, too. Here? Oh, this one here. Hanzo versus Genji. That's mm-hmm. what the set is called. And it includes, you wouldn't believe this, Hanzo and Genji. <laughs> yep. Um, and an NPC. Are you too? And, you're getting a civilian? Or <laughs> civilian you couldn't number have four. A complete, you couldn't have a complete collection without <laughs> civilian number four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's actually, uh, like... He's got a gun. He does a, have a, a gun. regular looking gun, and then he's got a cell phone. It looks kind of feminine color to me. But, I um yeah. I like that hairpiece. Did I use that in what friends? I think so. It might have been like a mechanic CF. Yeah, was when it first came, like an mm-hmm. Elvis looking hair, pretty yeah, much. That's what I was but uh, t- so do you know anything about Genji and Hanzo, um, Harrison? As you said earlier, this is part of their cinematic. Yep. Um, introduction. Introduction. Yes, mm-hmm. I know they were. I'm pretty sure they were brothers they're at brothers. one point, and oh, then they went down like different paths. And they're like part of different like clans now. Yeah. Oh, that no. are like warring rival like gangs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh no. That's no. They're really cool. And I mean, Genji is like a ninja with a katana in like cool robot armor. Sci-fi so, looking. Yeah. He's like a cyber Badass. ninja. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been playing a lot of Ghost of Tsushima recently, so mm-hmm. really cool. Um, and then Hanzo, he's, he's like a sniper kind of, he has a bow and arrow and his, his thing is to kill off the big guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's, he's targeting larger characters. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's always very interesting when they clash because it's two completely separate play styles Mm -hmm. fighting against each other. Interesting. So, um, Garrett, you ever play either of these characters in the game? I loved both of these characters yep. in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, I sucked at Hanzo because I sucked with the bow. Uh, yep. It's so hard to use a bow in a game full of double barrel shotguns and mechs Pistols, and yeah. war hammers. And... So a bow is difficult, but he had a really cool move where you could shoot a, like, a sonic bow like into a wall. And it would essentially do like an x-ray Mm-hmm. Like in fifty feet, so if somebody was behind a wall, you could see them. Yeah, so that was That's really crazy. And then there was a Da-dun! you could do that, and then there was an ability that would let you shoot through the wall. So if you wow. see, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. You think so, you're safe? No. So that was really cool. But these were also, if I remember correctly, they were the only two characters who could double jump and they could wall run. Interesting. And they could like run wall up, run. like run up walls. So you could get like on top of buildings with these guys. Wow. And they were like the only two who could do that. Besides, um, Farrah had a jetpack, so you yeah. could do that. Mm-hmm. So definitely some advantages to playing those two characters. They were really cool. Um, they weren't like my go-tos, but they were fun every now and then. I loved um, the throwing stars with uh, Genji. He had mm-hmm. like a, um, it was like a wrist-mounted like throwing star. Like <laughs> <laughs> it was That's really cool. cool. So yeah, these guys are awesome. Their cinematics are really really cool because mm-hmm. um, they like meet up in like in the dojo and they're like brother. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cool. Um, exactly. But I saw this fig not too long ago. Somebody traded one of these in. And I had completely forgotten about this gold. This is um using Monkey King now, mm-hmm. um, but the gold plume piece. Yeah, yeah. the uh, mini peg hole on the side of the bun is a really really cool attachment piece right there. 
I, I didn't know it was there. I always thought it was like a normal hairpiece, like for friends, and it would go on the very top of the head. Mm -hmm. But since they went ahead and made a new mold for it, they decided to go ahead and do that. Do it on the side. So you can add so many other attachments there, which is really, really cool. That's so neat. that hairpiece is one I would hunt out for like other figs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, this was, like, if I was like buying these at the time, I would have picked this set up. Yeah. Because I think this makes for a good like diorama set. Even yeah. though this is a smaller set, you set it up like this and have like an action pose base here and have Genji like jumping off. This could be a cool thing to put on the shelf, like buy like some books or something. Exactly. Very uh, uh, easily displayed. Yeah. Worth saving. So that's pretty cool. Unlike the bigger Gibraltar set, I think that those two figures are pretty much perfect. I agree. I mean, like what would you do differently? They're pretty nice. So. Yeah. Maybe a face on the, this titanium head on the inside. But I don't I mean, remember if, you, if we ever saw his face. I don't think so. Yeah, it would make sense for mm -hmm. ninja vibes. Yeah. yeah so. Um, but the last box set we have here is going to be this one. Garrett, tell us about this. So, this is actually another one. This is just Tracer versus Widowmaker. Okay. Yep. Well, what's cool about this set is there's your delivery cart for Gibraltar. So, it ties in with yes. the Gibraltar set. Very so nice. So, this is like your payload cart, essentially. Nobody would drive it. Like, typically, it's like got like a bunch of like cargo packed yeah, on boxes, top of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is essentially what they would like be going through the maps and like, you know, search and destroy or like capture mm -hmm. flag, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a cool set just to add to this. Um, but honestly, alone, I think this is cool too for modifications to make this look more like that. And you can add whatever you wanted to for a payload on this, yeah. which is cool. Mm -hmm. But also Tracer and Widowmaker are really, really cool figs. Um, they're definitely two of the most popular, and there's a reason they put them in the smallest, most affordable set. Yeah, they wanted them accessible. Everybody wanted these figs. Everybody plays these figs. These are the figs, the characters that when you were playing Overwatch, if you picked Widowmaker, you had a thousand people yell at you. <laughs> because everybody wanted to play a Widowmaker. Everybody wanted mm -hmm. to be a sniper. She was a sniper that had, mm -hmm. like, x-ray vision and, like, a grappling hook. And it was super cool. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean... They did a good job with this rifle, too. I yeah. really like the way this looks. It, it's very unique. They're using that same, like, blaster piece. Mm -hmm. um, but she's also got a really cool, like, hair mold, too, with, like, those, like, spider goggles. Exactly. A super unique figure. Yeah, and the pink is... You don't see a whole lot of, like, pink minifigs, I feel like. Every now and then you get, like... A, like, coral is a big color now for, like, mm -hmm. stuff. But yeah, pink that, and purple is a cool color scheme. It's just yeah. a dark pink and regular purple. Yeah. Little, Color scheme looks great. So. And so, I mean, I think that both these figs are awesome. Um, I would get the set just for them, but you could really modify this to be a cool display piece as well. Yeah. Because everybody, if you've played Overwatch, you know this from the games. Mm -hmm. you, 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 play, you defend this thing all day. So, I mean... A, a useful and uh, utilitarian yeah, th thing. This is like the other one besides Bastion. If you need an Overwatch set, I would hunt this one out because mm -hmm. you get the two like coolest characters. Exactly. Very cool. Before Fortnite, this was where you were. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like, Overwatch at one point kind of, like, it wasn't, like, Fortnite level, but, like, people were talking about Overwatch vibe, for, that, yeah. for a bit. Like, when it came out, that's what everybody, everybody was on. Everybody knows Overwatch. That's what everybody was on. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It was Fortnite before Fortnite was a thing. Yeah. So. Um, but that's the last of our boxes mm -hmm. that we have right now. We have at one point had every Overwatch yes. set in the store, of course, Very but it's, it's, it fluctuates. Mm -hmm. um, but we have a couple more to talk uh -huh. about here. Uh, let's talk about this uh, this Wrecking Ball here. Right is, here? Is that the name of the set? Yes, and that is the name of the mech, is the Wrecking Ball. Amazing. Um, so, Harrison, do you know what this is? I know what it is, yes. I did not know his name was Wrecking Ball, but I've No, I his name's not Wrecking Ball. Or the mech was called Wrecking Ball. <laughs> yeah. Um... I've seen it before. It is actually a hamster inside of a giant hamster, inside of a giant hamster ball, <laughs> and it's a tank, and it's beautiful. It's amazing. It, it's really cool. Um, it's just a really fat hamster. Yeah, just air, rolls around and, 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 and you can roll it up tank. like into like, like a actual ball. Yeah. Ah, ignore that. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, so like this is a character that when Overwatch um, came out. Every couple months, they would introduce new characters. Yeah. Like, that was a big part of the game. Mm -hmm. And this is one that, um, the character's name is Hammond. It's a little hamster. Okay. Okay. Pull that again. Um, but this is a character I never played as. By the time this character came out, I was kind of over over. Like, I was done with it mm -hmm. at that point. I moved on to, like, Destiny 2. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Harrison, we'll, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> Harrison's going to dunk on that, too. Um, but this is actually a really cool set. You get some awesome pieces in this set. Some sand green. Re I love sand green. Is it a printed dish in the back? Yes, too? it is. Nice. I don't believe... Um, no, okay. There are some stickers in Overwatch sets. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a couple going on here. Oh, yeah. 
But they did include a lot of cool prints um, in some of these sets. Can we look at Hammond, too? What does he look like? We got him here? Somewhere? Okay, fine. <laughs> Hammond. This is a tiny little one, one, mini, one stud piece. Yep. That uh, has arms, a backpack. He's so cute. He, um, if you guys have seen this little backpack, um, this is the hamster, the guinea pig from G-Force. If anybody's seen that movie. <laughs> Wait, it is? Look. <laughs> tell me that's not a G-Force guinea pig. Okay? In that's the comments, him. tell me if you've seen G-Force. Yep. Um, but yeah, like, Overwatch added some weird stuff towards the end of it, and like, I don't think a lot of people expected, like, a little, mm -hmm. like... Sent I mean, there was already a, a sentient gorilla. Yeah. But, like, a little hamster. A little hamster yeah. person? That's it's a bit much. Yeah. It's interesting. But this is a cool set. I don't remember how much this retailed for, but, like, I can't imagine it was that much. And this is, like, another for one. 220 parts, probably in the $20, $30 yeah. range. So. Like, if I'd seen this one in stores, I might have picked it up just for these sand green pieces, because there's mm -hmm. some nice pieces on this thing. A good little build. Um, and Hammond's a cute little character. Well, I mean, I, I would have remember this. right. Hammond can't actually he speak. He yes. speaks into the into the wrecking yes. ball, and it translates for everybody. Mm -hmm. That's that's some Which good is, lore there. Oh, yeah. I like it. So, this yeah. is the one set that Joe has bought from this theme, despite also yes, like me never true. playing. So. Joe does not know what Overwatch is. He hasn't played it, but he saw the wrecking ball and was like, "I have to have that." Exactly. And I can't really blame him. And that, you know, it, it kind of almost qualifies as a mech, but there's two much more mech-like builds it's, right here. I, right? I, oh, I keep breaking up. I, I like how it's a, um, a spider mech. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. anytime a mech crawling. isn't like a bipedal thing, I think it's really, yeah. really unique. Yeah, probably more realistic, too, because two-legged yeah. mechs are not mm -hmm. as stable as right. four. So, yeah. But uh, we've got these other two. So that's a set by itself. Yes. We've got these other two that were part of a combo set. Isn't that right? Yes, this was one set. Um, Reinhardt and uh, Diva. Mm -hmm. And we've talked a little bit about both of these characters. Mm -hmm. But uh, what does the sets look like here, Gary? Describe them for someone who's listening on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, so um, Diva's mech, I, I think this is a perfect like recreation from the game. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was like had really stubby arms with these like little blasters on it. And like a big part of this mech is that like the legs would fold up and you could just like hover like really fast like yeah and like yeah. crash into people mm -hmm. or um you could like eject out the top and like send it into like a group of people and it would explode wow okay yeah. so you could do some uh, it, so dynamic they, stuff they did a really cool job with this and like i love the shape of it the legs are really really cool in my opinion how they got that angle and everything mm -hmm. love the little shoulder pads these little tiny jet packs in the back. <laughs> it's cool um and using these little blasters as handles mm -hmm. not bad very interesting. So yeah. this is a cool set. Um, does shit work like? Yeah. Figures she goes in, in through the back. Yep. That's how it was in the game too. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. And then Reinhardt is also like a really cool one. But like if I remember correctly, this isn't a mech. It's just like a suit. Uh, this is like this, armor. Yeah, these are like, they. if I do remember correctly, they're... Yeah. It's like a whole family mm -hmm. kind of in all of their lineage yeah like it's just a clan of knights but it's like, like an order of knights and that's just what they wear okay but like he was like this big so he's like an ultramarine he was yeah, like, huge. he was like yeah. space marine so yeah, yeah. He's, yeah he's he if like big. the minifig like it should have had like the long arms and legs if they were doing that back then yeah or he yeah. might have been a big fig maybe you know yeah. like a, a big 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 uh-huh interesting but i think they did a really good job for the mech itself um, you know, if you hide his hands, which you can, you just put him down by his side. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's just, you know, it's, he's just a big character. Interesting. I think it's a really cool one. These shoulder pads, I forget, like, what these else these have come on. They might be but, almost an exclusive. Yeah, because I, I see these all the time when I'm mm -hmm. sorting Bionicle, and I'm like, Reinhardt shoulder pads. That's exactly. what they are. Let's see where they Yeah, I'm curious. One set. They're, so they're exclusive. Set exclusive. See, okay, that's crazy. I, it's a cool part. It is. Yeah. It's got multiple connection points. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Studs on the side, anti-studs on the bottom. Very cool. Really cool one, and I love the way they did the hammer. Yeah. yeah. That's a really good design. It's got rockets on the back. And yeah, I love it. Like Harrison was saying earlier, uh, I definitely recognize the character because of that, you know, castle yes. vibe, mm -hmm. that uh, sci-fi castle vibe. That's like the best, that's mm -hmm. like the best uh, thing you can do in fiction is like just a uh, big armored knight. Yeah. Yeah. Fantasy. Like, exactly. I remember when the set came out, and I saw. Oh, I keep dropping stuff. Jeez, I saw a lot man. of people <laughs> using his helmet as like a makeshift Sauron. Yeah, or Witch thing. King. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. because it has those spikes and that kind of slit visor. I saw people dying yeah. this. Yes, and it is a really good looking helmet. Like you could use this in just fantasy stuff for a really awesome, like jacked up knight. 
I bought a couple of them. I have in my yeah. collection, even though I have basically nothing else from Overwatch, so it's pretty cool. It, it gave us some really cool, like, minifig parts, some really cool pieces, some weapons. I mean, it's pretty neat. Uh, and this one has gone up quite a bit. I mean, yes. hundreds of dollars now. So um, Each one of these mechs, like, built like this, typically will run you around 40 to 50 bucks. Exactly. Without that's, the minifigs. That's what we had them at. Yes. Plus 20% off, but yes. still, they're pretty expensive. Um, so. I know diva has gone up a good bit. She's like a $50 figure. Yeah. And that's because she's really popular. A lot of people like D.Va. Mm -hmm. um, one of those characters you got to have. So. She was one of those, yeah. Um, and then one set we don't have... In the store, or yes. ever? Have I had don't know if I've ever seen this one in person. It's just a little box, yeah, with tracer on it, and it has a tracer figure that's inside. It. That's about it, according to Bricklink. Oh, she had um, golden blasters. Yeah, as well. yeah, that's what it is. So those are probably exclusive to this set. That's cool, though. But um, so Limited that was two fifty copies. That was probably something that was given out at uh, let's see, a prize in the Lego Ideas Overwatch contest. Wow, we well, so, got a number for it. Did you see that? Good luck finding that anywhere. But uh, O W <laughs> Tracer <laughs> Dash One. Overwatch Tracer cool. 1. Cool. So that's technically counts as the 10th set. However, there are 11 yeah. if you count the one that we talked about earlier. And then uh, um, also one that we don't have here. Yes. We, we just had it not too long ago, but we've, it disappeared. We've had it before. We have the characters from it, though. Mm -hmm. um, we've got I'll, Junkrat I'll you and Roadhog. Roadhog. <laughs> Uh, Garrett, uh, no, not Garrett. Harrison, tell us about uh, this big guy here. What's his name? Right, this big man here. His name is Roadhog. Yes. Roadhog. And he is the accomplice of Garrett's figure, who he'll introduce to you in a second. And um, he is just like an absolute bruiser of a character. Like this hook, the heavyweight. Yeah, yeah he's the heavyweight. Um, and he, he loves just taking damage. That's his whole thing is he just takes Big all tank. the damage. Mm -hmm. So this hook, actually, he can throw and grab people and pull them into him. He's got, of course, like heavy like heavy attacks, ton of damage. Is it close range or yeah. real long distance we're talking about? I don't know, man. You, can, you a, can rip people across yeah. the map with that thing, dude. It was wild. I know he has like a... <laughs> doesn't he have like a uh, shotgun grenade launcher? Yes, he yeah. had... It was essentially a blunderbuss. So you could yeah. like firepower. You could grapple people, pull them into you, and have a blunderbuss <laughs> right in their face. Yeah. yeah. So a very interesting tactic from a very unique mm -hmm. looking character. That looks like the most biker gangster he, yeah. vibe he, ever. He probably has... Um, he probably holds like... The title for coolest minifig tattoo ever. Yep. Um, his belly button is the pig nose. I love it. <laughs> he has a unique uh, head mold as yeah. well. Um, oh, yeah. So like head gear. Unique arm. Unique. I mean, again, he's one of the most unique big figs we will ever see. Yeah. And it's talking about weapons too. That's a crazy molded weapon they yeah. decided to make. Unique. They could have brick built that. Yeah. And they said, we're going to make a brand new molded element and never use it ever again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Looks like a giant also, fish hook. His jeans are neat because they have like folded over patches mm -hmm. that are like buckled down and like uh, the skull buckle across the yeah. knee. The yellow shoulder pad. Like, the little sh this whole arm with all the stuff on it. It's so neat. The gas mask. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. And he's an absolute idiot. He's not smart at no, all. No, okay. He's, he's a stupid person. <laughs> You're starting to sound like an Overwatch enjoyer. Hey, a I know a lot of things about a lot of universes. <laughs> there you go. That's good. And then the, the accomplice, though. Junkrat. He's the brains. Mm hmm So, um, essentially, like, Junkrat and Roadhog are, like, a big team. They're, like, cogni, like, Australi Australian guys. Yep. yep. Um, Oi. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, all about destruction and explosions, causing chaos. They're Australian, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Typical Australian. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, Ben Cosby's watching. <laughs> uh, ben Cosby gets it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's um, probably fighting a gator. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this is like, I love this piece right here, the tire. Mm -hmm. It's a tire with a bunch of spikes on it, and this was um, Junkrat's ultimate in the games. You could send this tire down and like pull a rip cord and then use it as like a remote control and it was like an explosive. Wow! But it has these spikes on it, so you could climb up walls with it and <laughs> yeah, drive it all oh over gosh. the place. So I'm really glad they included that as like and it really like this is the best fidget toy. It spins. It's yeah. so good. Um, but again, a really cool fig, orange peg leg, That's very unique. cool. Yeah. Um, this hair piece is awesome. It's like a smaller like syndrome hair. Mm -hmm. um, his face prints are really cool with like the blast residue exactly. on his face. The the smoke looking. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. this is another one of the figs that like transferred perfectly from the game. Mm -hmm. And speaking about the set, this is by far the best display set they they mm -hmm. made. Yeah, it looks awesome. It is essentially um, Roadhog's like big Harley bike with a sidecar, and they're jumping over the junk town like 
welcome to junk town sign exactly and all the junky pieces yeah and, and it's uh, really cool debris. there's another one of um there's junk rats like grenade launcher and this was like a bear trap you could set oh my goodness and um yeah i mean it, it's really cool they added some cool stuff from the games and you can use it as just like a motorcycle to drive it around or set it up on this stand and it's a really good looking display piece Fantastic. That's something you could put up on a shelf, and most most people who have played a video game are going to be like, oh, that's really cool. I know what that is. Yeah. This is one we don't see all the time, but no. when we do, it's always kind of like, oh, that's uh, Yeah, that's pretty it's like, oh, I always forget how cool that looks. Exactly. Well, uh, LEGO did produce a number of Overwatches, so we're grateful for all the amazing figures yeah. that were made, but... Um, do you wish there were more? Do you wish that in some alternate reality mm -hmm. that uh, Blizzard wasn't what it was and there wasn't the controversy that made LEGO pull the plug? Yeah. Um, and which which other... Were there other maps that you would like to see? Other characters that you'd like to see like um, that you're just dying for? So, um, like, Garrett I'm not Starburst. big on Overwatch anymore. I mean, yeah. I, I'm glad I, like, played a lot of it because I did enjoy Overwatch a, a lot. It was fun. Mm -hmm. um, but, like... Overwatch 2, I had no interest in. They, they've they changed a lot of it. Killed the vibe. And let's say, like, if they, like, just made 20 sets instead of, like, 10 for the first wave, mm -hmm. um, we should have gotten at least, like, one or two more maps. Um, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, there was a map on the moon. So, like, give me, like, a moon base. You could have, mm -hmm. like, that would have satisfied LEGO space people. And, I mean, mm -hmm. there's all sorts of stuff. And they, they added a couple more characters. Like, this is kind of, like, your main cast. Mm -hmm. Um... I think they should have added Doomfist. Doomfist is oh, one of my Doomfist. favorites. He would have he, he would have been so cool. Ones. He would have had an awesome accessory. Would that piece. have been a big figure or a regular figure? No, he was a normal guy. Okay, but he was just like a huge dude, and he yeah. just had like a big like robot arm, mm -hmm. like not just bit like he, like this arm is bigger than yes, him. Yes, just has, and it was a really really giant cool. arm. Yeah, so. um, they definitely could have made a couple more characters. I think the characters they made, I'm glad that like they're done really really well. Mm -hmm. Like they they look like from the game, and it's a good lineup. I think it would be way harder to um, justify going to collect more than this mm -hmm. um, for Overwatch. But, like, I I'm glad we got what we got. I don't yeah. know if we really needed more. Gotcha. So you're, you're pretty I'm pretty content satisfied. with how Overwatch yeah. is, like, laid out. Mm -hmm. um, I, like, I wish they would have maybe done a different map. I'm not a huge fan of Gibraltar, but that's the one you always got put in, like, as soon as you would start a game. You yep. always go to Gibraltar first. Yep. So everybody knows it. I get why they did it. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, man, I'm happy we got over... I mean, we got some like some figs we're never going to see again with parts we're never going to see again. Yeah, it, it, it's level a, of detail. It's a I've very seen. unique theme um, for their minifig designs and detail. Fantastic. And Harrison, now, you weren't as big a mm -hmm. fan, but were there some other maps you would have liked to see other characters like Doomfist um, that would have been really neat to see? Really, what I would would have... What I would have liked to see is some more of the skins, because that was a huge mm -hmm. thing. I didn't agree. I didn't was think about the skins that. Yeah. and uh, the different emotes and I stuff you could get, that. like victory poses and whatnot. Bro, you could put Roadhog in a Speedo during, <laughs> during the summer competitions. I mean, yeah. there's got to be Christmas versions of all oh, these characters. Oh, yeah. Christmas, Halloween. Uh, yeah. so you know he had a Santa people. outfit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like, even now, Reinhardt, mm -hmm. Overwatch did a... Uh, they partnered with... Um, Transformers and like Reinhardt had an Optimus Prime skin what? and then there was another person I forget who they are but they had a Megatron skin and they were like Reinhardt's you know more Ultimate. about Overwatch than I do maybe new I Overwatch see, yeah. you have to know <laughs> what you're talking about in order to hate on it I yeah, yeah. Um, uh, really what you could do with that is you could just do like the collectible figures like in the bags where you get mm -hmm. a random one you could do that and it could be the different series or different yeah. skins for all the characters I think even when Overwatch the sets were coming out I think it might have been a little late yeah, because like pe people peak. were excited for them, but also in people, a legacy way. People were playing Fortnite by that point. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fortnite yeah. was king by the time. 2019, this... absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Fortnite was happening then. So uh, I think if they had capitalized on this and did it like in 2016, 2017, mm -hmm. we probably would have seen those Overwatch two sets. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, it's it's one of those what ifs that's fun to talk about, but you know, obviously it never one of those never what ifs. Been. And I mean, how many video game like. Lego themes really are there, especially first-person shooters. Oh yeah, which is one of like Lego's golden rules. They said they won't do. Mm -hmm. So they're avoiding modern military, and this is obviously very fanciful. But yes. yeah, it's interesting. So yeah, uh, yeah, it, we we thankfully are getting Lego Fortnite. So that's yep. uh, definitely oh, very yeah, similar vibe. Thankfully, thankfully. Hey, hey, I'm hyped for the battle boss. <laughs> I don't know about you. Hey, uh, Harrison, for <laughs> I've been working here for almost like eight nine years, and every 
year, every month, there's some kid who's saying, do you have Lego Fortnite? Hey, we got one Fortnite. We got one Fortnite. 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 Do we have Lego Fortnite yet? I'm like, no, no, buddy. I'm sorry, man. I, so now I did say, play Fortnite a lot. It got ruined. <laughs> I'll be able to say, yes, we have Lego Fortnite. Uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. you don't see as many people coming in asking about Overwatch. But yeah. maybe one day they'll they'll wake up on these. They won't be yeah, give, it, give it 10 years. People might start yeah. feeling nostalgic. Exactly. And these figures aren't going to get... They're not going to get they're, cheaper. They're, these are as good as any modern figures, yes. you know, so I think that's... These are ones to, that are going to hold up no matter what. Something to look back on with a lot of positivity there. So. We didn't show off. This one here is oh, Soldier yeah. 76. So, I mentioned him, but I didn't actually yeah, figures here. Do we up. get all the sets? Let me make sure we got uh, I think we're missing... Um, God, what is it called? It's the other one that has a payload. And I was wrapping up here. Let's see. Right, we can just slice yeah, it so in. So, Dorado Showdown, yes. I believe. Yeah, that's yeah, another map. And uh, there's two characters which we didn't talk about. Let's talk about them really quick, then we'll wrap it yeah, up. Grab so. the one from we the talked about movie. Reaper. Yeah. He's Reaper. not in this set. We'll talk about 76. He's right there. So yeah, Oh, Reaper. 76 <laughs> is in there. Yep. Whoa, well, I didn't see him in the truck. Reaper, 76, and uh, uh, formerly McCree. Formerly McCree. Yeah. I don't know what his name is anymore. <laughs> we could look it up, but it's probably going to yes. be McCree under so, Brooklyn. So, yes. So. Uh, Cole Cassidy. Cole Cassidy. They did yes. change it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is kind of part of the controversy. If you want to look it up and get into it. This character was named McCree. His name was changed because of the controversy. Mm -hmm. uh, dive into it if you want to. But cool cowboy minifig. Yep. Gun really slayer. cool. So he's got a robot hand. That's why that one's gray. Yep. Uh, of course he does. But he's got some really cool like gold armor. He's got a good like big gold belt buckle. Maybe Mandalorian-esque. Yeah, kind of. Um, some ammo like strapped to his thigh. Poncho. I mean, mm. hey, he's a cool, he's a cool minifig. I'm exactly. not gonna say he's one of my favorite characters. Like when you have all of these, I don't really want to play as a cowboy. Yeah, I know. Um, but he's a cool fig to have, definitely. Exactly. Now, 76, on the other hand, 76, here. pretty cool. Um, what he was a part of, he was a part of the army. He's like a essentially like robotic super soldier. He's a guy, but he's yeah, like, yeah. you know, he's an enhanced. And he, what, he's, he's like. Cold. This thing is like frost. It's yeah, like yeah. Ice it, powers. Yeah. Yeah, like his gun, he could like like freeze people. With, That's a so. huge gun. Too, yeah, it's a <laughs> large awesome. gun. Um, I'm pretty sure like his ultimate was like an like an aimbot thing. Like you mm -hmm. would activate That's it cool. and you could just like hold down the trigger, it would just shoot wherever oh, people were. Oh wow, that's cool. Which was cool. Another but, white hair piece too. Right? Yeah, he, I really like his fig. Um I like the face print they did for it because he's mm -hmm. got just like this visor, mm -hmm. like Cyclops. Yeah, because in like the game when you play as him, everything's like red. You just have like a heads up display, like type feel, like view. It's That's really cool. cool. So the whole screen changes. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So he's a cool one. You know, again, this is not a set I would hunt out. I think it's a little lackluster. Yeah, the build isn't as exciting as some of the other yeah, ones. Yeah, the but... figs are cool. Um, I don't know. Flowing. I see why we forgot about this set though. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll have that in there last last little second. Uh, hey, we forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we actually remembered it before we said uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, actually, thank you guys for your thoughts. This has been fun. Of course, of course. When the Fortnite sets come out, we'll have to do a review on this. I think so. Follow uh, up yeah. with that. And in a couple years, we'll, uh, we'll talk about them. Yeah, with maybe fond memories? I mean, I'm, wait, <sighs> I'm waiting for the Warhammer Lego. Okay, well, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> good, good luck. We're getting too nerdy. All right, y'all have a good one. Bye bye. I'll see you.